in this video, I want to briefly talk about um, Square's API for developers. So when you uh, do a search for Square's API, you come to uh, this um, page right here, which is basically the um, developers portal page. And you can go into um, all kinds of bits and pieces of information here um, because there's different kinds of APIs that Square has for different solutions. Um, uh, the developers can download the specific API for uh, what their needs are and then they can go in and they can use whatever language they're working with um, to utilize that API for uh, that specific language and that specific application. So in our case, um, we would be using the e-commerce um, API. And what's nice about um, Square is that they've got a lot of um, videos here and there that kind of show you an example of um, how things work. But unlike PayPal, with PayPal, you can just simply create a button for a specific item that you're selling through PayPal, and then you can copy the code for the button and paste it in your website. It's a lot easier to utilize PayPal's uh, system, their online shopping system, than it is to utilize squares. And we're going to talk more about that in um, other presentations. But um, here, we're just going to kind of briefly look at the um, e-commerce API. And I'm going to click here to go into the e-commerce API for Square. And so basically, um, we have a rundown, and, and these are all um, written tutorials. There's not video tutorials, and all these tutorials are running on the assumption that you already know the programming language, and all you need are the uh, bits and pieces to make Square work. So... Uh, they talk about the basics, and then they talk about how the online works. Then they talk about how the e-commerce works. Um, they talk about their testing, um, in-person payments, uh, full API reference information, and release notes. Um, here's a little graphic that they have about how it works. And you have a customer that comes to the website uh, and wants to... Uh, view the payment form or there's a square payment form on the website page which is based in um, JavaScript so it goes to squares website because it's using the API to access the squares um, application it goes to the uh, charge or however they're going to pay for it so all that is set up in square and then it sends information to your server where your website is sitting um, for payment information, um, basically that they did pay and that sort of stuff. And then your server through PHP will uh, decide yes, they paid successfully or no, it didn't, and then it will um, show that page to the consumer to the uh, consumer so if they've made the transaction successfully then your thank you page will pop up if it hasn't if there is an error for whatever reason then your error page would pop up so that's just showing you how that would work um, so if we scroll down a little bit um, it's kind of explaining to you how they handle 
uh, your the card information and data security because all of that the security information is all on Square's uh, website which is kind of nice because then you don't have to pay for the security part and, and you don't have to worry about that part um, and and that's kind of what you're paying for when with each transaction you're paying for the security that Square is giving you um, otherwise you'd have to pay for a security license in order to take credit card transactions and you would still have to pay the credit card companies uh, a percentage for utilizing the Visa or MasterCard or Discover, whichever uh, ones that you take. The development steps uh, for Square, you have to um, have a Square account and an, app uh, an application registration. So just because you have a Square account doesn't necessarily mean that you will be able to utilize the API. You have to then apply for an API registration. Um, then you can download and start using um, the API information for the e-commerce API. Um, and it talks about embedding uh, the Square form on your web page. You can go to the embed um, payment information form page to learn how to do that and it talks you through it. Um, it talks about initially initializing payment form and it shows you some script that you can um, copy and paste and um, it gives you a, a more scripts that you can use. It doesn't really get into what all the pieces of information is in here and, and what it all does. Um, so again, in that instance, it kind of assumes that you already know PHP on some level. It definitely assumes that you already know HTML and CSS. So it doesn't explain a whole lot of what's going on in here, um, but it does explain some of its uh, information. Um, it talks about sending a notice to charge or the information to Square's processing uh, and you can use the um, REST library, the PHP client library, or the Ruby, Ruby client library. Now you would use only one based on the programming language that you already have your pages in your website created. Now we've learned PHP so that is what you would use. If you wrote your pages with Ruby, then you would use Ruby. Um, it talks about, this is optional, but it talks about saving uh, the customer information um, and how you can do that, how you can write the codes to save the customer's information. Uh, um, and then chargeback protection for the, the customer and that sort of thing. So. Um, that's basically a, a, a rough getting started rundown uh, of what the e-commerce API is doing. Um, so if I click on embedding square form, um, I go to that page, which is showing me again, the code. And then here is the process payment for uh, PHP and it's showing me the code. But like I said before, it does not explain all the pieces of all, every piece of code that you need. Um, it doesn't explain what's going on with it. It just kind of shows you um, bits and pieces of what you're going to need and kind of where you can put it. Um, and then they and then it does talk about how you can use um, API sandbox to test what you're doing um, so that you can see you don't have to make a purchase to see if it's working. You can use their testing system to see if uh, what you're doing is working, which is kind of nice because with PayPal, you actually have to kind of make a purchase. Anyhow, um, so that's basically how the developer e-commerce API uh, works with Square. Um, in the next video, we'll talk about 
other ways that you can get buttons to work uh, using the square system.